Greetings to all my YouTube channel viewers physics for us and I sincerely thank each and every one for watching my video and giving your honest remarkable valuable comments which is again and again improvising my content. I wanted to give a small connection between physics and philosophy which many of the scientists have dealt with already. When I think of physics and philosophy what comes to my mind is both are somehow interconnected. but they are my they are very much different from each other we can talk about the philosophy inside physics but i cannot talk about the physics inside philosophy it's not so so i will tell you how physics is a science which is going to unveil the complexity of earth nature from the smallest dimension to the largest dimension so we get technical answers and reasons for every single happening but philosophy is something where it is a it is a branch it is also a science but it is not fully science we can give a conceptual reasoning behind the happenings why what when it is happening why it is so how it is happening all this we can give answers but they are not technical technically logically we cannot prove it to be right they are all psychological answers that could be given to any happening that is a philosophy physics and philosophy they are very much interconnected especially quantum physics quantum physics uh, as my previous video says about physics and spiritualism there also we dealt with quantum mechanics only so here also quantum physics is the first major physics where we can talk about the philosophy also so when i connect when i want to connect physics and philosophy the first the very first phenomena physical phenomena that comes to my mind is matter waves so what is this matter waves matter waves are nothing but it is already composed and proposed saying that every matter is having a wave nature associated with it every every particle or a moving particle is having a wave associated with it this is they, those waves are called matter waves it was discovered by a french physicist louis de broglie he was actually a descendant from the france governing family and from his childhood he had been dreaming of you know asking many questions and finding answers for his questions he had a wider understanding of physics and real time problems in his career he had done his UG in history and later on with physics and mathematics in 1924 he defended his phd thesis on matter waves it was a very big revolution those days that he had taken the idea from einstein and max planck when they were talking about the light as a particle light as a wave so louis de broglie had taken both their concepts he worked on together and he composed a single theory saying that not only light every matter in in nature is having a wave nature this could be connected to the philosophical line saying that we all know we have read in literature we have heard of this quote saying that nothing is permanent in this world i repeat again nothing is permanent in this world no particle no living being no non living being are going to be permanent say for example in your house you have today any article tomorrow it may not be there tomorrow it might go to the you know there is the position and the position cannot be defined that yes this particle will be here only in normal house we tend to move the things from here to here our job our position our existence everything is not permanent so this is a philosophical thought this is connected to a matter wave why because when i say every particle every particle in rest or every particle in motion is having a wave associated with it it can be even you can take a smallest of particle say a normal pebble on the ground a stone on the ground tomorrow that stone will is not going to be in the same place means it is having a wave nature so identity or the position of the particle is so unstable it can be here it can be present or it can be absent it can be regarded very high or it can be regarded very low so it is having a wave nature every particle on earth is having a wave nature and these waves are so invisible that we call them as a matter wave this is only an assumption a theory given by louis de broglie he had worked it is very very i should say it is very very honorable to say that he had worked in the construction of eiffel tower 
for the electromagnetic spectra and he has done some radio wave communications in the eiffel tower he had worked for 6 years in the french army but later on he realized that he has to do something great in physics and he defended his physics thesis and the same physics thesis what he defended in 1924 it fetched him a nobel prize in 1929 till now we talk about louis de broglie who was a french physicist his theory on matter waves is highly highly remarkable physics and philosophy can be connected by his louis de broglie theory the main objective behind this connecting the physics spiritualism physics philosophy is that i wanted everybody to understand that physics is the queen of sciences which i have told in my previous videos and we should be more and more admiring the subject and once we get the understanding of what this beautiful science is everybody will not feel bored or bugged up to read physics especially school students i am coming to know that students are keeping on saying that physics is like really tough it's like a rocket science beyond comprehension no it is definitely not it is a beautiful subject that is why i wanted to connect with spiritualism and philosophy with simple simple concepts so that i will have more lovers for physics and more admirers for physics thank you all